Evening, boys and girls. Gadget Dad here. I want to do um, just a quick, quick kind of fitting, not really a product review, but fitting guide. Recently got the Vortex HD Gen 2 E, uh, which is the lighter model. I'll, I'll do a review on that. Uh, put this on a competition three gun rifle and um, we'll do more review once I get a little bit more experience with it. But I did want to talk about uh, a cover. So I didn't really want to get the caps for it because it just adds weight and kind of gets in the will, uh, in the way of um, your view a little bit. But I did want to have a cover, especially when you're out at three guns, just kind of nice. Um, you know, the one I go to is a little dirty and muddy, so it's nice to cover it up. I kind of have the tactical stroller, which I should probably do another video on, uh, on how I did that with a, an old used Bob. Um, but um, I, I like to have something to put over um, just to keep the, the lenses from getting dirt dust or mud on them. Um, so I saw the Vortex, I think it's called the um, Vortex Surefire, Surefit cover, which I think is it's kind of perfect. It's almost like a golf club sock um, to put on and put off. I thought that was great. I, I had a problem with the size. So if anything, hopefully this helps someone pick the right size, at least for, for this um, specific purpose. So I was kind of picking between small and medium and the boxes um, to pick small, their guide online says to pick small, but what I found was small is extra tight. So this is the small one. Um, and I found that especially with this, uh, this throw lever lever, right? So if I put it in kind of the 12 o'clock position, it's tough to get on. You really have to kind of work, especially since these knobs are kind of outside. I mean, it's work to get on and off. It doesn't go on and off like a golf club cover. Um, uh, at all. I mean, it, it's, but the nice thing is it's, it's on there. I mean, it, it ain't coming off once you kind of stretch it, um, and really get it on. Um, so know that, especially with this cattail, it almost is hard to get on unless it's in this 12 o'clock position, which I really didn't love to have to do. I mean, uh, more than three gun is like, once you're up, you, you kind of need to go. So I wanted something that slips on and off a lot easier. Uh, this is the medium size. And I found that, um, at least when the gun's sitting up, I can almost do it with, with one hand. It's a little looser. See, there it goes. It's a little looser, but it covers it, and I can slip it off really easily with one hand and dish it in my, my cart. So hopefully that just helps you get a sense for how tight it is, depending on how you want to use it. Small, very tight, to bear, can kind of barely fit. You can stretch it um, pretty good, but you'll be able to get it on there, but it's not just popping off. Um, and then the, the medium. So this video is really kind of more of if you have this specific optic um, and this throw lever and you're, you're kind of think of it using it like a sock covering a driver at the golf range, um, I, I'd go with the medium. That's what I'm going to keep. I'm going to send the other one back. But it's, you know, good quality. Uh, we'll, we'll serve the purpose uh, for sure, just keeping, keeping some dust and weather off of it. Um, and I like that better than having the actual flip-up caps. Uh, I did end up getting those, obviously, if I was um, using it for hunting or anything else uh, where I'm moving around a lot and it could get bumped, I probably, uh, and I want quick access, I probably put those on. But um, for three gun, these are kind of, these are kind of perfect just to keep it out of the sun in the south, um, but also keep it out of the, keep, keep dust and mud off, off the lens before you're using it. Hopefully that helps you uh, pick. Um, highly recommend it. Just get, get the size According to this chart and maybe scale up one if you got the throw lever and just wanted a little little looser. Hopefully that helps.